I think that this lighting should be okay. I know that the sun's on this side, but it's like sunset and I wanted to film anyway because I thought I keep putting this video off and I just need to film it. So what it is is my, as you can probably tell from the title, my haul that I had from pretty much over the time that I was in LA to now essentially. So that's been like over two weeks in a bit. And as if you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I have run out of so many beauty products, so I really needed to like restock and I had been saving up some money in order to do so. So when I went down to the States, I got a ton of drugstore stuff that I'm really excited to share with you and so that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoy it. So I think I'm just going to go from like whatever I see grabbing from my big old Lululemon bag. So I'm just going to pretty much grab and go. So first item that I got was Moroccan oil and I was so excited to finally get this again. I used to use it all the time on my hair and I just feel like it makes such a difference. Like there is no other hair oil that is like it. And my hair smells better, it feels better, it's more manageable and it just it doesn't feel greasy like other oils just don't seem to like soak up into your hair correctly or enough or you know what I mean I, I don't know if you guys use Moroccan oil like the actual name brand but I find it to be worlds better than any other stuff that I have tried so I was glad to get this and it has a little pump which is cute so some hair stuff I got were the every, it's called El Ney but everyone calls it El Net on YouTube just because it's easier to pronounce probably less French to pronounce this is the new unfragranced extra strong hold to tell you the truth I don't really even like the smell of this. It says that it's unscented, but I feel that the original almost smells better. And I know that is saying a lot because the original doesn't smell good at all. But I don't like the smell of this, even though it claims to be unscented. So maybe I'll just stick with the regular one next time. But this is my favorite hairspray of all time. Another hair item that I wanted to try was this Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. Ooh, everyone has been really into dry shampoo lately. and. I was like, I want to get in on this. So I found this and I thought it was just the cutest name and it's really cute packaging. So I gave it a go and I've been trying it and I really do like it. I tried previously that chlorine or chlorine, the one spelled with a K, that I had gotten in a glossy box and I felt that that made my hair too like dry feeling and like too powdery. But this makes your hair actually feel clean afterwards and it's a nice scent so I'll continue to use this. Continuing on with hair products, I got the Joyco K-Pack. You guys know that this is like my go to hair stuff. I love it so much. And I also picked up the Aussie brand 3 Minute Miracle stuff because everyone's been talking about it and says it's amazing. I love it. What I've been doing lately is probably twice a week I've been taking an equal amount of the Aussie brand and the Joyco and squishing them together. And this one smells like bananas and this one smells kind of like kind of like coconutty tropical fresh and I mix them together and I let it sit in my hair and I'll sometimes do it while my tan's on so it's like really in there for a long time. Guys, your hair will feel like magic afterwards. Like it's the kind of hair that you just want to like rub your nose in and smell and like it's soft and uh, it's the best. So try these two products together if you can and like I said, I just do equal parts. So I've been looking for a waterproof mascara and I saw that this was new. It's the Mega Plush Volume Express from Maybelline. And it's really neat because the wand has like this flex thing. I, I still haven't really got used to it. I had to open the packaging. I felt kind of skeezy doing that. But I had a pool party that I went to today explaining the minimal makeup and like hair up and a ponytail and so I had to use my waterproof mascara because I was going to be in the pool and I really like it. It didn't smudge anything underneath my eyes. It doesn't make your lashes really voluminous, is that the word? It, like they're not really volumized but they're really long and individual so it does look quite natural and quite pretty for like pool days but I probably wouldn't wear this going out because my lashes literally do not look thick at all with this. So cute packaging. I like the product, but it will stick to like my pool bag. I also got a new foundation in a little bit darker shade. It's the Revlon Color Stay 24 Hour Makeup, and I got it in the shade uh, 320 True Beige. It's a little tiny bit darker than my skin tone, but it works perfectly when I have a tan and when I put on fake tans, so this works really nicely. And it stays on so well. Like It just won't budge. This is what I'll wear. If I'm going to be outside all day and it's hot and it's sweaty or if I'm at work at the lemonade stand, like this stays put. So I love this. Go check it out. If you haven't tried Revlon foundations before, I've tried the Color Match and now this one and the Photo Ready. And I've liked every single one that I've tried. But this one I think stays on the best out of all of those so far. I went a little nail polish crazy and I bought four different nail polishes. I got Essie in Set in Stones. It's this really, really pretty chunky and semi small glitter. I think it's the cutest stuff. I've had it on my nails pretty much either on an accent nail or all of my nails at least 
every single week since I've gotten it. I've gotten so much use out of it. I will definitely repurchase. It's just the prettiest, prettiest glitter. It's such a bitch to get off though. And I got Sally Hansen in lilac and mint sorbet and golden. So they're cute little summery pastel and metallic colors and I'll get a lot of use out of them. Another repurchase of mine has been the Garnier Skin Roller Ball. I absolutely love this. I get it in the lightest color and I think it's just one of my essential things that I pretty much use every single day. I've never been disappointed by it. I also picked up some Neutrogena oil free makeup remover. This was on sale I think it was two for twelve dollars or two for ten dollars or something like that in like a little package kit. I really really like it. I previously tried this and I thought it was alright. Switched to a different one and then swapped back and I've been really really liking this. I realized that it's actually working a lot better than before because I think I didn't shake it all the time before and I'm pretty sure that shaking it seems to be quite essential with this stuff. It makes these crazy bubbles but apparently if you shake it it works much better tip for you. The next item I got is the Duop Reverse Eyeliner. It's actually something that I was recommended by Tatiana of Glam Life Guru. I love it. I'm so glad I bought it. I think it was a little bit expensive. It was like 25 or something like that, but like I've really enjoyed it. I wore it today. I didn't have much makeup on today, but what I did have on really stayed put even though I was swimming in and out of the pool as well as like with heavier dark makeup, it really, really helps it not water in the corners of your eyes. You know when it starts watering and like you, you try to reapply over top of it and you just can't, like for some reason the makeup will not stick to your face. This helps it stick. So I'm really, really happy with this and I'm excited to try it with really like vivid dark makeup to see how well it really does work. I feel like this is the haul that never ends, but I had so many drugstore things to purchase and uh, that I've wanted to try over the past year that <laughs> I, I went pretty buck wild. I had to carry the most heavy carry-on in the entire world because my bag would have been overweight if I didn't carry some of it on the plane. So I'm carrying like my enormous purse, I'm carrying my other Louis purse, my other arm, and two huge shopping bags onto the plane. It was so awkward, but I'm glad I did it and I now need to find out how to get this all home to Australia in August. So that might be a problem. But the next thing that I picked up actually were an online thing. They were home when I got home from LA. They are the Bullseye Lashes from Madame Madeline. I pretty much exclusively buy from Madame Madeline because their prices are absolutely unbeatable and they have a wicked stock selection. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever visited the site. I'll leave all the information down below. But I've probably purchased from them for over a year now and Bullseye has now become my favorite brand of lashes to buy from Madame Madeline. I'm pretty sure they're exclusive on there. So I got the, like I said, the Joan and the Joss and they're just the prettiest, nicest lashes. Like I always get compliments on wearing them. Nine out of ten videos I will be wearing these. So if you ever are wondering, probably this or an Ardell half accent lash, but most likely the Bullseye lashes are what you'll be seeing on me. I also picked up Van Deodorant. Ah. I seriously love this stuff and they stopped making it in Canada, I guess not making it, but they stopped stocking it in Canada and it's such a bitch. I just want to buy it. It's the best antiperspirant ever. Like, not only does it work well, it smells good and like it reminds me of grade 8 PE class when like you'd have to go and quickly like try and clean up between gym class and real class and I always wore this and I never ever smelled and was a smelly gym kid. So thanks Ban, you're awesome, but I can't find you in Canada anymore, so come back. They have like the rollerball version, but this version is like 10 times better. I picked up the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. I have heard so much about this from so many people, but I wanted to try it and hearing such good things, like I had really high expectations and they totally met. Like it's this weird, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like almost marshmallow consistency and it's really pigmented and I enjoy it. It doesn't come off at all. I'm wearing it today and I wore it to the pool and it didn't come off so good summer product if you're looking for a cream type blush. I picked up a refill of my favorite highlight ever. It's the Wear Infinite Studio Secrets in Morning Light. It is from L'Oreal. It is this gorgeous like yellowy champagne color. I use it for my inner corners and my brow highlight all the time and sometimes I'll even put it up onto my cheekbone. It is the prettiest lightest color and a little goes a long way. So definitely needed a repurchase of this. I went a little lip crazy as you can see but I had so many things to try. There was um, a sale at Bath and Body Works which I'll show you candles after but I got the Mentha Lip Shine 100% natural mint and it's bubble mint. It tastes like like the best way I can explain it is the best version of fluoride from the dentist you've ever had. Like I know that might turn some people off but I don't even like I don't like dentist fluoride like I don't I don't like that bubblegum flavor but this is like Pretty butterfly. Oh, come here. Can I sing to you? 
Nope, I'm not Snow White. Anyway, uh, you can you can taste this, and it tastes like bubble gum, and it tastes like mint, but it doesn't taste like a gross version of it. It's really yummy, and it's quite moisturizing. Uh, and speaking of moisturizing, I finally picked up one of the EOS little lip balm thingies. Oh my gosh, I think it is the best invention ever. It is so cute. I never lose it in my purse, and like I can play with it if I get really bored. So awesome, awesome product. And I finally, like I said, my TMI picked up two of the Revlon lip butters. I got the candy apple color and creme brulee. They're beautiful. They're really moisturizing. I actually convinced my grandma to buy one. I saw her down in Shoppers Drug Mart buying one actually yesterday. But such a good product. I probably would go back for more colors if I find a color that I like. But these were the first two that like jumped at me, so I bought them. Megan Rosette and lots of people on YouTube had been talking about the mint julep mask. Uh, it's from Queen Helene. Helene? I don't know. But it's awesome. It's like this green goo and it's really exciting to put on your face and you feel like it's spa day and I just like face masks. So the next items that I'm going to show you actually help with my summer tan. First thing that I'm going to show you is for what I use outside and it is the Banana Boat Deep Tanning Oil. It has an SPF of 15 infused with carrots and banana extracts. So it's like eating fruit through your skin. No, not really. But it smells really good and it makes you nice and luby oily when you're on the beach. I really like to suntan with this when I do go suntanning. But I regularly do not tan very often because I like to self tan and when I self tan you need stuff like these. They are the absolute world best exfoliating mitts. Like it's just a regular drugstore pair but let me assure you any other exfoliating thing will not exfoliate you as good as these and it's quick like you rub a bar of soap or your body wash in your hands and you just go all over your body like everywhere scrubbing hard and you have the most pristine perfect skin and after you get out of the shower I put on the Vaseline cocoa butter deep conditioning um, lotion and it is so thick and creamy and it smells so nice and your body just feels like a wonderland after like it is so smooth and you just you're going to love it so those are two awesome things that you can use to get your skin in perfect summer condition and then I use my Sun Goddess tanning lotion along with that but I have tons of that so I didn't need to restock it so that's not in this haul. If you'd like to see a tanning video do let me know because I am interested in showing you guys like what I do to maintain my, my self tan because it's not easy there definitely is some tips and tricks to it. So while I was at Bath and Body Works I picked up some candles because who doesn't like candles? I got the Coco Lobo one smells like coconut it is like the best smell ever I also picked up lilac blossom in my backyard I don't know if you guys can see but that um, right back there is actually a lilac bush so this candle really reminded me of home and I thought how nice would that be in Australia to kind of smell my backyard lilacs but like 12,000 kilometers away and I also got the pomegranate lemonade because I thought that um, this was the one that Elle Fowler said that she really liked and I saw it, it was pink and it was cute and I'm like, Elle Fowler likes pink and cute things so maybe this is the one she's talking about. Oh, it smells like a tropical island of goodness and I really recommend getting it. Such a nice daytime summery scent. I also got these two candle holders from Bath and Body Works. I thought they were so cute. This one has like, looks like tulips almost around the outside and this one's like vines. I think it's just the prettiest thing. They look so elegant and so nice and they were only like, the big one was $6.50 and the small one was 650 as well so <laughs> I paid 650 for both of them but they're really really cute and they look adorable in the candle I'll show you there how adorable I love it and finally I thought I'd show you guys the last thing that I got and it is my Playboy water bottle that I got from the Playboy mansion I just got a water and I saw that it had a little label on it I was like that's so cool and my brother would like it for his bottle collection because he collects like beer bottles from all different places all over the world and I thought that this may not be a beer bottle but it's not every day that you get a water bottle from the Playboy Mansion. So yeah, that was my haul guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I'm sorry again like I said about the lighting but it's all good. So I will hopefully talk to you guys really really soon. I do have lots of videos planned for you. If you do have any requests make sure to leave them below. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter and I have all my links down below as well so go check it out. Talk to you guys really soon and bye!